Hey guys, and welcome to our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. We're going to be starting from the very start. I haven't played any of it. And um, yeah, we're going to experience it together. I've seen the trailers and I know some of the new features in Pokemon, but I haven't watched anyone play it, so as far as story and gameplay goes, I'm going in blind. So let's get underway. I've heard the start is a little slow, but, um, you know, we'll get through it. You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Googly. Hang on now, give me just a sec. Hey there, good evening. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah? There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? I mean, he got it out of the ball, so... Alright, I've got to ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Uh, we'll just go this one. You okay with the one you chose, yeah? Yes. Alright then, I'll let you spell out your name for me. Alright, in the interest of doing Wi-Fi battles down the road, we'll use my online tag that I use for most things if I can. Make a fly. So you go by McFly? Yes. Ten four, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. McFly. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo. Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Alrighty. So we're moving to the Alola region with our mother. Come help me with these boxes. Gosh, what a slave driver. And it looks like we're going to get a little cutscene here in some sort of research facility. Alright, so I know that this character's name is Lily. And she seems to be in some sort of rush. Okay, she's smuggling, I guess, a Pokemon in her back. And the guards do not like that. So you'll notice that there's no sound. Um, it's because most people prefer no sound in the Fire Red Let's Play. And it's also a lot easier for me to not record the game sound. So unfortunately, if you want it to be a true let's play with the sound and all that, you might have to uh, watch a, another YouTuber's series. But we got some crazy stuff happening here. The Pokemon, I thought it was evolving, but perhaps it was actually using a move. Pokemon Moon, presented by Game Freak. Three months later, so a bit of a time jump, and it's a lovely clear evening in Alola. And 
his owl mother mum chilling out on the porch with a mouth. Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Didn't last very long. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get McFly for me, would you? Meow. Real. Get a Wii U console. Pikachu doll, some books, and me, sleeping with the light on, that's not how I roll at all, I'm not making that noise, am I supposed to move I guess, yep, okay, hope you can change your clothes in this, Real. He checked the book your father gave you. Adventure rule number one, open the X menu with the X button. And number two, record your progress with save. I'll save my adventure. Total of 37 seconds in. Even on a tiny globe like this one, Kanto and Alola seem awfully far apart. There are moving boxes full of your belongings. My gamepad is a bit sticky or something. Stupid recording 3DS. The Ditto Pillow and Poke Toy are both covered in Meowth's claw marks. Are oh, you ruining it? You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, McFly, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Was that the doorbell? No, I have no idea. It's got no sound. That's got to be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in, McFly? Okay, just let yourself in. That's fine. Hey there, McFly. The name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still night time out here, yeah? Professor Kukui, yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mum. I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. So they're kind of writing in the Alolan forms and stuff into the canon of the first game, I guess. Ha, huh, I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, McFly. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah? A Pokemon? Yeah, sure. The Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah. But don't try taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. We'll see about that. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon. Then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, McFly. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there too? Probably, that's where all my stuff is. Ooh, I bet you've got a Stalin hat that'll match mine, yeah? 
Okay, just stand there, that's fine. Uh, boxes. You checked out the moving boxes and you pulled out your bag and hat. Yeah, I'd like to see trainer customization back in this one, but I am not entirely sure that it is. I think that was just an XY feature, which is a shame. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Ooh, that's a Stalin hat, cousin. Ha ha ha. That silly me up. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh yeah. There's nothing in here worth checking out, so let's go get a Pokemon. start of any Pokemon game is always kind of bleh, because you just got to slog your way through the talking and stuff. Try and find a Pokemon. Hey, now the heat getting to you. I said we go this way. Okay, but you didn't actually say which way we go, so thanks for nothing. Oh, cool. We can run off the top of the bat. <laughs> now this is more like it. Yeah, welcome to paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you've got Pokemon helping you out here. That's why we got to get you to the Kahuna. First, we're up to Iki Town. Come on, it's not far if we cut up here. Hello. Hey, you. You look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You make me want to dash around too, and I bet I can go even faster than you. Holding B will make me a B dasher. And it makes me look pretty dashing too. Ha ha. The puns. Unreal. What's this? Small ledge. Okay. The power of science is amazing. A simple press of a button and you can trade Pokemon or battle with the people around you. Not yet, but anyway. Look at this Alolan Executor. Such a rare find. Okay, so McFly, you're loving Alola already, yeah? I mean, the small hill I've seen, I guess. Hey, don't sweat it, cousin. It's pretty normal to feel a bit unsure when you're in a new place. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Alolan train has come to us. Professor Kukui, you've got to recommend another move for me sometime, please. Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. So dismissive of the child. This guy's my hero. <laughs> See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here, yeah, to try to catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Then trainers go up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose. Hiss. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Isn't he like four? Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get moving. Iki Town is right over there. Town. And we're here. This right here is Inky Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island, I guess. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? 
This is going to be so difficult to pronounce these. Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah? McFly, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. Very descriptive. Thank you for the help so much. Iki Town, the place where we give thanks to Pokemon. Uh, I guess we'll just go straight up. Explore a bit later. Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. What a coincidence. Maybe this is where you battle them, I guess? What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap right out of the grass to help people in trouble, did you know? On sunny days like this, I like to just wander around following the wind, don't you? What a waste of a day, sir. Go get a job. Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer on all of Mele Mele, but I guess he must be off helping someone train right now. I don't see him anywhere. Mahalo Trail. Hmm, it's a bit of a slow start, isn't it? But I think this one's more story-driven than action-driven like some of the others. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. And I know there's like a lot of cool stuff coming up, like the Ultra Beasts and all that. Hmm. I don't know. Spiro. Maybe to like Spiro. <laughs> Maybe you should put that thing in a Pokeball. Just seeing if there's any cheeky items around here. Okay. Ah, who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Nebby. Yeah, me and what army? Pew. Those Spiro are attacking it, but, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. You stole this Pokemon, but you can't go save it, so you have to make me go do it. Whoop. Whoop. Come on, mate. Pull yourself together. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Jesus, obliterated them. <laughs> I guess this is Tapu Koko, maybe? I can't remember. He's ready to go, though. He is ready to fight. Hmm. You. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. P 
you. What? What is that? Pew pew. A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? Never mind that. I think this stone must belong to you. No, it doesn't, but thanks, I guess. You obtained the sparkling stone. Oh, it's got an image of a Z on it. I wonder what it is. He opened up the key out of his pocket and put the sparkling stone away inside. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew. In the meantime, the bridge is out, and I believe the Kahuna was around here somewhere, so too bad if he was over the other side. Um... I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could see us back to town? Again, I have no Pokemon, so I'm not going to be much good to you. And you may have just ruined my chances of getting one by trapping the Kahuna over the other side of the river. Hey, McFly, looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah. Kukui, looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is McFly, he just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon uses in all Alola, yeah. Looks like a... What's an order his name is? Have I missed something? No, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason I thought I saw Tapu Goku flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebi was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. I like the word deity. Well, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is rather a fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. Pew. And I already know which one I'm getting. First is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Next is the fire-type Pokemon, Litten. Meow. And last is the water-type Pokemon, Poplio. Walk. What a doofus. Which Pokemon will you choose as your starter? A fire-type Litten, absolutely. I never go fire-types, but this time I am. Will you choose the fire-type Pokemon, Litten? Yeah. He chose Litten. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Uh, 
Hello. Just staring each other down. So let us see if little Litten there also decides to choose you. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Litten is staring at you with some curiosity. Mm -hmm. Pretty damn cute. You lifted Litten gently in your arms. <laughs> the fire type Pokemon Litten is sniffing at you curiously. Oh, so little Litten has accepted you as well, McFly. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give Litten a nickname? Um. I don't normally nickname my Pokemon. Is the only thing. Um, nah, I won't nickname them. Litten has been added to your party only because I want to find out what their their names are, you know. And committed to memory. Nice to meet you, Litten. Pew. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. Don't tell me what to do. That's it, McFly. Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah. And here's a lovely gift from me to help make it special, cousin. You obtained a Pokedex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Litten, is already registered, oh yeah, so check it out. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. Now why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mum, McFly? Okay. Assuming nobody interrupts me on my way back home. Like that. Oh, no, I just got stuck. No, there we go, interrupted. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Da ha ha ha, where's the fire, boy? And what kind of a Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, huh? Fair enough, then I'm Hal, and my partner's Rowlet. Your little looks really cool too. I feel like thanks question mark is really unnecessarily hostile, so we'll be like, you like Pokemon? Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been all over looking for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Okay, that's weird. Isn't all Pokemon battles where they get hurt? Oh yeah, your first battle already. Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Woo. I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. You'll battle me right. I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. Alright, this is going to be great. Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hal. Forgive me if I mispronounce these names as well. Alright, so we see the trainers in the battles now, okay. Alright, so the first thing we'll have a look at is, I believe if we tap on the Pokemon, it shows their stat buffs. Um, I saw somewhere that you can see their typing as well. Maybe if you have one captured or something, or have battled one before. Alright, so we're just going to go for the straight up Ember. It's super effective. Rail use a leafage. That's a new one. It's not very effective. Go for 
for another ember, I suppose. <laughs> Unnecessary critical hit. Hopefully, didn't just use up our luck for the game. Luton gains 65 experience points and grows to level 6. Hmm, no defense increase. That's a bit sad. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hell. Hoo ah. You received 100. Was it Pokeyen or something for winning Poke Dollars? Hooey, that gave me chicken skin. I call him Goosebumps, so chicken skin was a weird way to say that. McFly, right? Your litten was awesome. Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm? McFly, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Uh, no, it's mine. Thank you. Mind your own business. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, McFly? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, McFly, because this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honour of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, McFly. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on... <laughs> Pew. Oh, you, would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Ha ha ha, everyone's having a jolly old laugh. Silly Nebby. And back at home. Welcome back, McFly. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Rrr. I'm gonna wreck this Meowth. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cute or because it's cool? Um, yeah, honestly, because it's cute. Well, then you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. Ah, oh, well, make me look bad in front of my Pokemon, huh? The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mrr. Mrr. Now we have two cat Pokemon. The next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, McFly. I might actually save it. And we'll call that an episode just before the next sort of little saga gets happening. So I'd like to thank you for joining me in the first episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. I know it wasn't super thrilling, but uh, once we get into the main game, uh, hopefully it's a lot more entertaining. But again, thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you very soon in part two.